Hey, this is Shannon from Shan Shan in Japan. I just had one of the most amazing Thursdays ever last week. It had science and magic and skating. Oh my! <laughs> Two friends and I decided to go see the Harry Potter exhibit at the Museum of Science. Our first stop was at the Cotton Top Tamarins. Traditionally, my favorite part about going to see the Cotton Top Tamarins is not to see the monkeys themselves, but to see the humans there watching them. I especially love it when the children ask their parents questions that the parents don't know the answers to, but the parents still try to answer the questions. What me to is that there's a guide right there to answer all of the questions and parents can just go ask the expert instead of trying to figure out trying to figure out the answer on their own because like four out of five times they're wrong. <laughs> After the tamarins we went across the hall to an exhibit called How Your Life Began. It sounds exactly like what it is. It's about um it's about birth of humans. And there was also a video being shown that had a real birth recorded onto it. And it's a really ugly baby that was born, no offense, but it was like a demon child. There were like young children there, scarred for life. <laughs> we then went to a newer exhibit that mixed art, math, and the environment. This is very cool. Here's a few pictures from that. After contemplating how much humans have messed up the world, we then went to a live animal show, and I sat next. I sat behind the coolest woman ever. Here's some clips from the show. Uh, <laughs> oh, you little. Little. What? After that big build up. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, when we're talking about the birds of prey, you never, ever, ever want to be fooled by a side. Believe it or not, this little bird comes packing all the adaptations of making a tiered raptor or bird of prey. On its feet, believe me, some very sharp talons for killing. On its face, a nice sharp hook feet for tearing me apart. Now, this little bird is called the American Petrel. Ooh. Ooh. Bonus. K E S T R. E-L. Falcons do come in a bunch of different sizes. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad my shoe wasn't It was a really great show, though I have to say I was really freaked out by how hard that bird was trying to escape. After the live animal show, we then went to see my best friend Cliff, who's a real triceratops fossil. The last thing we did before going into the Harry Potter exhibit was to go to the Discovery Center which is a small part of the museum that's solely for children. My two friends and I, who are like 20, 21, decided to go. We tried to solve a rope puzzle where you, you have the two ropes interconnected and you try and untangle yourselves without removing the rope from both of your wrists. We failed miserably. <laughs> We had to have the woman tell us how to do it, and then after we had solved it, or after she had told us how to do it, and we did it in front of her, we couldn't figure out how to do it again once she was gone. Hmm. Yeah. Then came the main event, Harry Potter, the exhibition. Technically, pictures weren't allowed in the Harry Potter exhibit, and I respected that request and didn't take any pictures, so... You're just going to have to see it yourself. There's a sorting hat. The first four minutes, you it's a tour, it's a guided tour. The guide took three people, three children, supposedly, <laughs> to be sorted by the sorting hat. Um, there were two boys and one girl. The two boys got sorted into Gryffindor, and the one girl got sorted into Hufflepuff, and I was that one girl. <laughs> So the first kid went, and he got it into Gryffindor, and then the woman asked, Would anyone else like to be sorted? Who wants to be next? I was like, I do, and so I was like, I do, pick me, blah! Uh, <laughs> and she looked around the room, and no one else was as enthused or committed. She said, 
no one else seemed committed to it, so she picked me. So I sat up on a little stool. She asked my name and where I was from, and then she asked, oh, what's your favorite house? And I said, I like Hufflepuff. And then she said, are you sure you don't like Ravenclaw? I'm like, well, I don't know. Okay, well, let's let the hat decide. She put the hat on my head, and it said something like, it had a pre-scripted thing, so it said, like, loyal and just. Sounds like Hufflepuff. And then I got started with Hufflepuff, and everyone went, yay! <laughs> but that is not all to this epic Thursday that I had. After the Harry Potter exhibit, and after the Museum of Science, my friends and I went back to one of our friends' apartments, and we sat down to watch the men's figure skating for the Olympics. Uh, we watched Evan Lysacek skate the skate of his life, beating out the reigning champ and winning gold, and he was so great, and he so deserved it, and he was so happy, and I was so happy for him, and he skated for America, so extra points for that. And yes, go Olympics, go figure skating, go Evan Lysacek, you better get it. I hope everyone else had a fantastic Thursday. I hope everyone's having a fantastic Sunday and whatever day of the week it is that you're watching this. The Olympics are still on, so watch them. Women's skating is coming up. Big fan, big fan. And yeah.